some of you know this, but many others do not. I actually used to be a competitive bodybuilder back in high school, back in my teenage years. I picked up this beautiful book written by Arnold Schwarzenegger called The Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. I remember when I was 14 years old, when I was just 14 years old, this paragraph really stood out to me very vividly that Arnold wrote. He said, what is the value of a piece of art? If you find a painting in a storage unit that's, that's wrapped up, has dust on it, that is one way to display a piece of art and it's probably not valued that much. You can take that same painting, that same piece of artwork and put it in an art gallery with beautiful framing and the lighting is perfect and you put red velvet ropes around it and all of a sudden that same painting can be worth thousands from pennies to thousands and that just really stuck out with me all of that just really stood out with me obviously pertaining to presentation on stage when it comes to bodybuilding but that analogy can be copy and pasted to so many other parts of life it's how you display things and how you project yourself and your product and that is how people interpret that product third cup of coffee of the day and by far the best cup of coffee because it's Icarus coffee link below Grab a bag, you'll love it. The number one thing restaurant owners need to improve on in 2022 is the photographs of their food. That is the first thing the customers see when they look at your menu and when they go to your website and to your social media page is what am I gonna be buying from you? Highly recommend that you either do what I do, which is become a restaurant owner, YouTuber, camera expert, or hire a photographer to take some fantastic photos of your food, get you and your chef to your restaurant one morning, have the photographer there, and just make one dish of every single thing. Call it food waste, call it cost of doing business, call it whatever you want, the amount of value that you're going to receive from those high quality professional food photos is unquantifiable. So that's my tip. My first tip for 2022, get those menus looking great. Get that Facebook page looking great, that Instagram page looking great. Show the people what you're capable of doing. Hey Roger, would you make me a lamb shank for the uh, new menu? But make it like extra pretty. All right. I know you always make it pretty, but make it like beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Everything I've mentioned thus far is playing offense as a restaurant owner. One of the scariest things that I really can't control and all I can do is play defense on is battling this new wave of inflation and market uncertainty. Food prices are going up. There is a shortage of laborers, so the competition for, for food employees, for restaurant workers has gone up. Thus, 
they can they can ask for more money, they can demand more money and get it, and that's great, and I wanna pay my cooks more money. I'm not saying that, but at the same time, the ship has to still float because if there's not a restaurant, if there's not a boat, everyone, everyone drowns, everyone sinks. And I am, as a restaurant owner, having to balance all of this. Part of the new menu launch is to actually raise prices roughly around 6%. And I, as the owner, really won't see any of that money. It's all gonna go to the rising food cost. It's all gonna be going to the exuberant payroll costs that have, that have kind of gone out of control a little bit. So I'd like to say that that's gonna be paying for my vacation in Greece, but unfortunately, that is not the case. It's my job, it's my job to make running these businesses look so carefree and fun and effortless. But as a restaurant owner, owning two restaurants, it's a lot on my shoulders. You know, I don't just have like one other family that has to eat. I have like 10 families that I support that the restaurants that I've created is their main source of income. And with all of this uncertainty and the unknowns with the Omicron variant, why does it gotta be a Greek name by the way? It make me think that I created this virus or something. But it's a lot. I mean, confident and prepared and ready to fight and ready to go to war and do all those things, yes. But at the end of the day, it's still a lot of factors that are out of my control, like this whole inflation thing and the labor shortage and the food store shortage. Like there's a lot of ingredients that is hard for me to get a hold of. It's, it's scary and it always has been scary and it always will be scary. This, this journey of entrepreneurship, of uh, restaurant touring specifically, it's, it's a scary, daunting, overwhelming task. And even as, I don't know if you'd call myself a veteran being in the game for eight years, but even after being in the game for eight years, it's still scary and it's still full of uncertainty. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. I guess I'm just venting. And if you do own a restaurant or are thinking about owning a restaurant, maybe you can take a few tidbits from today. I hope you did. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a very special announcement. Cheers.